S'mores Bear. Just so you know, it's a special edition Forest Queen S'mores Stout. Doesn't sound very good. I don't like beer, but I mean, <laughs> yeah, it you're really try doesn't it sound though, good. I'm going to try it. Yeah, let me try it. Yeah. Well, first of all, that smells like <laughs> Let me take a drink. I'll let you guys uh, know you can't how show, it You can't show us drinking. Yeah, we'll both take a drink. Go ahead. Uh -huh. Well, I got too much head. Is there such thing? <laughs> yes. There is in this case. Look. No bueno. That's nasty. <laughs> Hell no. I, I know, wipe my, give me a shot now. I'll wipe my face. This right here, it tastes like a damn s'more, all right? Whenever you get your marshmallow, you burn the sh**. Drop it all over the ground, dirt all over the damn thing, and you're like, you know what? We're camping. You put it in your mouth, it tastes like that. That sounds like you've been drinking. That's what that tastes like. I got chocolate for sure. Mm. I don't know about the graham cracker. I got some chocolate and some, some charred marshmallow. I, I think it's pretty damn good. <laughs> Nation. Thank you guys for tuning in to once again another Wolf Tick Videos episode. Now, on today's episode, we're going to be breaking into some pretty good stuff. So make sure you guys stay tuned and don't hit that fast forward button, please. Don't hit the skip button. Is it button. that good? First segment, right? First thing we're going to be focusing on today's video, we're going to be giving some much needed gratitude towards our coffee board back there, all of our coffee shout outs, is, coffee supporters. That's a ridiculous. Just wait until board. we start talking about that. We are going to be doing a, what was the title you put on it? I really liked. The Young Guns. Young Guns. Viewers Rides. Viewers Rides. A little Young Guns Viewers Rides. Like, kids always want shout outs. Kids always sure. want shout outs. So we said, hey, why don't you guys earn some shout outs? Uh, you know, be a part of the Wolf Tick Nation. Comment, watch some of our stuff, send in some of your bike pictures, and then, guys, we would love to give you shout outs. So, we've got some Young Gun Viewers Ride shout outs. I hope you guys are going to stay tuned young for that. Young Guns Edition. Yeah, yeah, Young Guns Edition. See what these little guys, uh, their builds that they got. Well, some pretty cool all stuff. Little. Little guys. Some are here, know. some are here, some are here. You know. Yeah, all over the place, but uh, supporting the um, young mountain bike riders. Hey, pretty so cool. we're probably taller than you. Then, <laughs> we are going to be working on the budget boundary as well. Everybody, has been talking about these X Tech Zoom cable actuated hydraulic brakes, and here they are. These were like 38 bucks, I think. We'll get more into that when we work on what the budget boundary are going to be installing these, and then um, make sure you guys stay tuned for a real time review with the budget boundary. Remember, that's the ultimate budget build cable actuated disc brakes. Are they going to be any good? That's going to be on today's I'll question episode. Them. Uh, a few you say, people uh, have talked about them, and I'm questioning them. Yeah, me too. Uh, what do you say we me go ahead and break into it? But, oh, break in. All right, coffee shout outs. You ready for this? Yeah. <clears throat> record breaker is all I got to say. I, 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 Multiple uh, different levels of all record kinds breaking. kinds of records being broke. Berserker. Nick. Oh, you, I'm glad you added Nick because it just says Berserker. It ain't again. the five. It, it, it ain't, ain't ten. ten. It ain't twelve. It ain't fifteen. Twenty. Cups 20. of coffee. I didn't know you could do 20 cups. <laughs> whoa, whoa. 20 cups. I, I, like, I didn't know it went that high. Yeah, I didn't I, know you could do 20 cups of coffee. I didn't coffee. know either. Berserker Nick. That's crazy. Yeah. I mean, thank you. Thank you, you so know? much. That's record awesome. breaking. Record. Yeah. That's a damn record. I don't uh -huh. know if that record ever be broken. That's crazy. I don't know, man. I don't know if you can break it. I don't know how high you can go on that thing. Holy. <laughs> we had a long discussion last time on the board when we talked about share. Right? We said, ain't no damn share on the board or whatever. But, old Cody D. I said shares. I don't see shares on the board or whatever. Yeah, you said that. Cody yeah. D said, hey, you better put share up there. I'm getting you 10 cups of coffee. 10 cups of coffee to put share up there. It's about to turn my life. Damn, Cody. Share. <laughs> we got off the damn rails and just Cody, started. Cody D. Thank you, Share and Cody D. Appreciate it. <laughs> now, next on the board, Up Chucko, Polawless, Thunder Lungs himself, Bean Bag Sitting, Cheeto Eating, Organ Living, Hippie. Woo! Uh -huh. <laughs> up Chucko, five cups of coffee. He says, You better put my damn name up on that board. I want it up on that board. <laughs> well, Up Chucko, Thunder Lungs, you got yourself a spot on the board. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Thank you so much. This guy got a GT Aggressor Pro, looked up GT Aggressor Pro upgrades, uh -huh. and we worked really hard for this. Our videos came up on there Google. There you go. It's he Googled us, so he glad. found us. 
I'm, I'm so glad we have put in some war. I've shortened my lifespan. Yeah, with this. Uh, yeah. Jeff Williams said he was so. really appreciative of that, and I said, "Man, well, welcome to the channel. Welcome to the Wolf Tick Nation." Yeah, hopefully thank it you sticks for around. Us. What, yeah. what is it, Jeff Williams? Jeff, Jeff Williams. Williams, man. Thank you. And I'm glad. Welcome, and hopefully you become part of the Wolf Tick Nation for a long time. And, yeah, just don't go on and, any other websites and type my name in at least, because <laughs> you might see some videos with me in it that's nothing to do with mountain biking. <laughs> I don't want to know about these videos. Next, we have got John Ford. John Ford. Good old John Ford. Good old John Ford. Five cups of coffee. Yeah, John now, Ford. Now, not only did John Ford say, hey, man, I want to support the drunken eBay. Oh, yeah. well, hey. Th a crowd I, I'm supporter. I'm all for that. Wolf I'm working on it tonight. Yeah, working on it tonight. Might do a little bit of drunken eBay tonight. John Ford, thank you for that. But John Ford also had the sad news that he sold his GT Aggressive oh. Pro, but it was for a profit. So oh, it's all well, good. Yeah, man. We're all for a profit. We ain't too mad at you. GT you kind of cut me. And then I'm healing. <laughs> if I could turn though? back time. If, if you could turn if you go back to share again. If I could Listen, turn back time. If, if, if he can make a profit, I'm yeah. all for it. And as long as he stays a part of the Wolf Tick Nation, I'm yeah. good with it. Glad you're here. John Ford, if you're out there drinking in the morning or watching this at night, hopefully that's the case. And you're not our kind of morning. people. Yeah, either Energy. way, either way, you're our kind of people, and uh, this is the John Ford. Next feller we got on the coffee board, he is a repeat offender. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> repeat offender? The Jones <laughs> underscore oh. AZ, Mr. Arizona. Arizona. Yeah, Mr. Man. Arizona himself. Did it finally get confirmed? Yeah, Rock Shock Silver, uh, Judy Silver Tea Cakes. He was all for that video. He says he loved oh. the fork review. He really appreciated it. Man, so much so you bought us five cups of coffee. Well, he Thank must you. have liked the review then. Yeah. Now, that last on the board, but definitely we still got some more that least. didn't make the board. Mr. What Hill. Five cups of coffee. What Hill? I don't know what hill you mean. I will say something about the old Mr. What Hill. Him and his son have bought a Mongoose Malice. Oh, okay. Right? And fat um, tire with it. Yep, I believe his son he likes rides it. Thick. it. So, I, I, does that qualify for the readers or the viewers' rides? You might see another uh, Monster Malice coming up in the uh, oh. Young, what do you call it? Young Guns? The Young Guns Viewers' Rides. You it's might see Young one. the Young Guns edition. Yeah, I believe uh, him rides. and his son was a project bill. We'll talk Excuse about me. it more here in a little bit, possibly, if you see it. What hill? Thank what you. What hill? I don't know what hill. Yeah, five cups of coffee. Thanks, man. Not making the board, but two coffees away, we have got David... Daza, Dooza, Dooza, Dowza, David Dowza, something funny. Old David Dowza said he's got a case of the swag. Sophisticated, wild, <laughs> guessing is what swag stands for. We all got some swag. Next, we've got old Dave Bird. Dave Bird, three yeah. cups of coffee. Dayford. He's now, back for a, more. It's just Dayford now. Yeah, just it's Dayford. Not Dave Ferd Ain't anymore. calling you Dayford, David Ferd, nothing. <laughs> Dayford. Uh, he sent in a pretty sweet picture of his lime green GT Aggressor Pro. Oh, man. Got mud flaps, Max's tires. It's a pretty sweet looking bike. You guys are going to have to wait. And Dayford, the v fur you're going to have to wait for it too. But thank you so much for the three cups of coffee. Two more. This guy. Thought he was from the UK. Apparently not. Thought he was just another guy. Apparently not. Uh-oh. It's Darth Vader. <laughs> One cup of coffee. You're trying to drink your sorrows away, and it ain't working. <laughs> I feel... He's I'm, knocking at your door. He's saying, Daddy, <laughs> let me in. <laughs> Damn, Darth Vader, thank you for the cup of coffee. I'm missing you, man. <laughs> I'm well, I'm, I'm going to have to do a drink to that. <laughs> now, last but not least... One cup of coffee, yo Billy Boy. Mr. Oh, yeah, Bill yo, himself Billy says, man, you do whatever the hell you William, want to to my name. William, Will. Bill, James, Richard, Dick, Yob, <laughs> Bill... Thank you so much. One cup of coffee. Oh, is that is that Bill? It's Bill. William. Billy. Oh, Bill. He's Bill. back. I talk to Bill every now and then. Okay. Bill, <laughs> thank you for the cup of coffee. Now, what do you guys say? Let's go ahead and get into some viewers' rides. Hmm? We'll do that little viewers' ride segment, and it's going to be the... Young Guns Edition. Young Guns Edition. We're breaking into this? We are breaking into well, it. Well... Kids edition, breaking in. Gatorade. Put Gatorade, the beer away. Kids. Put the beer away. I'm having some Gatorade. What do you think about that? Oh, man. Is that a malice? That's a mongoose malice. Mm. Now, our buddy, what hill? Him and his son started, watching, the, him and his son started watching the channel because of us. 
Yeah. Or because of our mouse. Well, they watched our channel because, because of, of us. us. Started wow. watching it because That's of the a rarity. monster. Started watching it because of the monster mouse. They went out and got one, and they started upgrading it themselves. Yeah. You can see new bars, new stem there, Funny. new pedals, crank arms. Uh, it looks like the new chain ring on there. Yeah, it's like uh, a red one. Uh huh, and a red uh, derailleur cable. Oh yeah, I see that. Uh huh. I like the, Dude, the I like the tires. The tires. Those tires. Wolf tracks. Wolf tracks. Speak up a little bit. I like the tires. Wolf tracks. <laughs> Father, son, I do have right one there. complaint. Uh oh. I would have loved to have seen a. Well, I guess never mind. It's kids. <laughs> a beer in the cup holder. Oh. I guess I guess it. I would love to have seen a bottle of water or Gatorade in that cup holder. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, now this man. is our boy CSR Biking Woo! Colton. Has got a GT Aggressor Pro, but he wants to send some pictures of his full squish Santa Cruz, and this is a 2015 Bronson Santa Cruz. He has a GT Aggressor Pro too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He has a GT Aggressor Pro and a Santa Cruz. Uh -huh. Look at that Good thing. Good lord. Is that thing sweet or what? Man. That's that's a lot of bike. That's a lot of bike. I wonder if he can ride it. Uh, you know we've we've seen a few clips of him riding. I think he is pretty mm -hmm. good. Now I just asked you that. Mm. Check out this next picture. It looks like uh, this is one of our fork review pictures. You ready? Uh huh. Oh man. <laughs> yeah. Dude, there he's you go. getting some air. He's riding it there. CSR bar biking. CSR biking. Yeah, pretty sweet bike. I love the picture. I mean, dude, he's getting some air there. Yeah, he's got a he's got a he's got a channel going yeah, on. Yeah, got a little channel on there. Uh, yeah. Found us a while back and become part of the Wolf Tech Nation. He's been part of the Wolf Tech Nation for a little yeah. bit now. You guys need to check him out. I think it's uh, C dot S dot R biking. We'll put a link or something in the description. Okay. Get some check out. That's that's pretty sweet. Yeah. That, that's Colton's his name. Yeah, right? Colton. Colton, that's pretty sweet. Man. I love that your support, picture, dude. Yeah, yeah, thanks for supporting. I love that picture. Awesome he gets in there. He's gonna be a nasty. It's a ride gap. He he's clearing the gap. That kid gets older. Imagine the stuff oh, he's gonna yeah. be able to jump. All right, next we have got. Oh, man. Now that is uh, that Cole is. Miller's Oh, okay. I was say, that's pretty familiar looking. I do. Uh -huh. I was just looking right when you said that. I was looking at his fork, and I said, yeah. uh, "Hang on." That's yeah. the uh, Rock Shocks Judy Silver TK that's up front. A, uh huh. Uh, he's got some uh, race nice face, fork. race face Chester knockoff pedals. Uh, looks like he's got oh, a weight stem. Uh, he's got a uh, pretty cool yeah. looking bike there. Loam grips. Um, We've watched him build this over time. He's been around mm -hmm. for a while. Yeah, Cole Miller been around for a while. Uh, man, appreciate your support, and you guys need to go and check him out. The snow, man. Uh, him in the snow. I, I'm always, crazy, I always man. think of him in snow now. I remember all the mm -hmm. throughout the winter and all the snow videos and pictures and stuff of him out in the snow riding it. Yeah, pretty sweet looking bike. Yeah, that's nice. Um, I, I'm I glad forget, he finally got his fork. Too. I forgot what Will said he's got on that thing, but it's like a WTB SS. Yeah, he got his something. Will set a while back. I uh -huh, remember he was yeah. asking us about something on it. Uh -huh. Well, we got our Will set for the task, but he's been around for was a while. Was that what it was? Uh -huh. yeah. 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 Cole Miller, appreciate you just always showing your support. Cole Miller, ride your damn bike whatever whatever name of whichever version of channel you're on mm -hmm. thank you yeah appreciate it and i think he's got some stuff going on too i think he's more on on social media now though okay now do you recognize that bike that's a schwinn sidewinder Ooh, okay and that a is schwinn sidewinder that is Braden eden's oh that's caleb that, eden's son that is his go. bike uh, that was the coolest review I think I have seen on a Schwinn Sidewinder. Yeah, the kid, that was one of your favorites. Caleb was like doing a, you know, he was doing a decent job. Then his son was like, hey, Dad, let me get in there. <laughs> let me, let me show you how there. it's done. Yeah, it's got the... Uh, Are you trying thing. to say something with us? <laughs> Is that what you're trying to do? Caden, uh, I love that you let your boy get in that video, and uh, Braden appreciate you sending the pictures in. Now, uh, Schwinn Sidewinder, only thing he's got in right now are some uh, orange grips, orange pedals, of course, and uh, he's looking to get some new upgrades, including a seat, and uh, word is, I think uh, they plan on going to Bentonville or something for a little vacay. I believe they're uh, yeah. they're going that way sometime in April or something, yeah, aren't they? something yeah. like that, but Jealous. Uh, Caleb said that he is saving money to uh, go ahead and start upgrading his bike. Well, Bud, we know how it is. Yeah. But awesome little Sidewinder, man. We know a budget channel that... Uh, yeah, you might, you know, watch. might yeah. want to check it out. There's some budget stuff every Use now and then. Use our there. affiliate links, Braden. <laughs> but, uh, Braden, so cool. You and your dad are out riding together. Yeah. We wanted to definitely show this little man's bike. All right, next and last on the Young Guns Edition, we've got BM Outdoors. Oh, he's been around for a minute. Yeah, he's got a, a 2019 Trek Marlin 5. Yeah. Pretty sweet looking bike. He's what is that wrapped all around his uh, his crown up there and on the bump of the store? I, I was trying to get in there and look at that man. That, is it, is it, is. Did you make that small enough for me? Hey, did he make it small? Enough? <laughs> hey, he he got it done though. Well, you know it's all about how you use it. So I mean, he sent it. It's got an Apple sticker on there. You can't some do internal that. internal routing. He says he's looking at doing a lot more upgrades to it. Uh, yeah. It's still a three by it looks like. I mean, this bike is going to be pretty cool. It's going to be kind of nice to update people on uh, exactly what all he's got going what, on with it. What is it? Is that a Marlin? Yeah, Trek Marlin 5. Oh, it looks like he's got some, uh, got some no, hydraulic some... brakes on there. 
Looks like some lock-on grips. Yeah, he says he's going to be upgrading it in the future. Okay, so, uh, well, well, yeah, we'll make summer. sure. Nice water ball. Yeah. We'll make sure. BM Outdoors, he's got his channel going. Matter of fact, he just did an interview with Jordan Boost Master, I think. <laughs> that was a really cool little Young Guns edition. I'm glad. Uh, hopefully, everybody out there showed like some that, love man. and uh, shown some, uh, you know, some... What do you call that? Some not appreciation. Support. But support. Yeah. Should go out yeah. there, make some comments, support on these guys. We, gotta, hey, we have and, uh, got the channels out. We've got to keep this sport growing and going. So we've got to, you know, we've got to help these youngsters. The youngsters. That sounds so dated. We got to help these young guns. We got to help them progress and grow and love the sport. Mm -hmm. But um, awesome, young guns. Appreciate the pictures again. Yes, and uh, guys, let's go ahead and break into the uh, X Pack. Hydraulic brakes. Oh, Let's do the install on in the budget boundary. All right, guys. Well, hopefully oh, yeah. you enjoyed the Young Guns Viewers Rides Edition. I liked it. It was pretty cool. Seen some pretty cool rides. Now, let's go ahead and break into the X... Sorry. X-Tech Zoom Cable Actuated Brakes. $38.99. Very budget. Both of them come with a front and rear adapter uh, for your fork and your frame. They measure 71 millimeters from eyelet to eyelet. I went ahead and checked, and that is pretty universal. They're going to fit on the budget boundary, no problem. One thing I'm really liking about these calipers is I'm so used to adding on the hydraulic brakes to all the mountain bikes that we have here. And what's nice is I keep catching myself and going, oh man, I got to get the hose ready, I got to get barbs, I got to get olives. And I go, well, no, actually I don't. These are cable actuated. So, which basically means, um, you know, and a really big plus to getting these things, is we'll be able to take the uh, mechanical calipers off of the budget boundary right now, be able to go ahead and slip in the brake lever um, housing and cable and tighten it onto the end here and then we're going to have a hydraulic brake. And there you go, you can kind of see the actuation there. Now, one thing that uh, I've seen on the internet as far as these go is everybody says, well, they're um, no bleed. But you can see here something that's interesting. There's actually a bleeder valve there. Now, how much you would need to bleed it or how you would bleed it, I don't even know. Like, I don't know where you would even insert oil into. So maybe that's what people are alluding to when they're saying, hey, it's a bleed free. I'm not too sure. So you have this adjustment here on the back for your travel. And also you have a little barrel connector side here for the... Um, tension on your cable housing but let's go ahead and put them on the budget boundary all right so here we go this looks like it's going to be the uh rear and as i said earlier it does come with a uh, different mounting bracket so i guess if you have uh, just different frame style this one here should be butted up um, pretty easily um, this is going to be just way too cool right now because i don't have to get my hands dirty you know it's just a simple simple uh upgrade now, in your guys' opinion, everybody there watching at home, what is your first upgrade? Like, would you be willing, say you have a bike from Walmart or from a big box store or maybe even a, a local bike shop, what is your first upgrade that you guys want to do to it? We were having that discussion a while back, and like, some people say, hey, I want to get, uh, you know, new tires. And some people are saying, hey, I want to get a, a dropper post or a new stem bars. I was thinking more on the lines of... I like, I really like a fork, but I mean, you're talking about dropping at least $115, right? I mean, 115, 144 for a budget fork, yeah, at least, you know, and then I started thinking once we got these, uh, hydraulic brakes a while back for $38.99, you guys can check out fill it links in the description below. We'll try and put some in there for you guys. But anyway, we started, I started thinking about the price of these and I was like, holy crap, man, you can have, you know. You can call them 50-50 hydraulic brakes, whatever you want to call them. They still have hydraulic fluid in them. You can have hydraulic brakes for under $40. Would you guys be willing to spend that $40 on these hydraulic brakes? You know, um, would that be a number one upgrade that you guys are looking at doing? You know, put that in the comments. Brand new bike, have done nothing to it. Would you be willing for this to be your first upgrade? And if not, what is the first upgrade you guys are looking at getting? All right, so I was going to say, well, you absolutely don't need any tools for this procedure, but you're probably going to need some cable cutters or something. We got this little end tie on here, and we're going to have to cut it off, and I don't have any more of these ends, so I'm really hoping that I'm not going to get a bunch of fraying on this. Now, what I was going to do was I was going to slide this through here, this barrel adjuster, slide it through there, and not cut the end off, and just take this one out of the new brake, and then insert you know that barrel adjuster into this guy and keep it factory especially keep this from fraying but the threads are different from this one and this one so i'm gonna have to cut it 
anybody out there has any hacks, right? I know my dad hates that word. If anybody has any hacks for something I can put around this in the meantime until I get some end cap thingies, let me know in the comments. What in the world do you put on there? All right, so uh, I went ahead and took off the adapter from the caliper. I'm going to take the spacer out. I'm going to take it out and be sure not to squeeze this because you might get a chance of getting some air in there. So uh, make sure we don't pull this out and then squeeze this accidentally. We want to make sure it's always around the rotor. I found that out the hard way. All right, so I've got the uh, bolts tightened down decently. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start kind of getting them snugged up a little bit. Everybody has their own ways of doing this. All right, so do you guys see how it's straight up and down here? And this housing is going to have to go through there, obviously, and then pull down on here. I'm hoping I'm going to have enough room for my brake lever to not get tied up and go up here, which I think we will. Now, you can see the way this one was. We were here with it, and it was a little bit more at an angle. This is the factory one, way more at an angle as opposed to this one that's going straight up and down. Um, but, I mean, you know, I don't know if that's a worry for most people. Most of the time, if you have that clearance for your front piece here, you're going to be okay. But uh, I'll just kind of worry about that clearance a little bit, you know. See, a lot of people don't like the uh, barrel adjusters, like whenever it comes to buying a derailleur. This is just a, a, an example. It's but, not a derailleur. Yeah, and it's not a derailleur, but here's an example. So we're too tight, right? So we come over here. We tighten it a couple. Right now, loosen it. We tighten this in. All right, so you can hear some rubbage still. Now we go, hey, it's getting smoother. Let me go a little bit more now. That's a hell of a lot smoother. Let's go ahead and tighten that sucker up right there. All right, now. Yeah. You see that, how easy? Do you see how easy the barrel adjustment is? It's so much easier. I don't know why people are so against it. All right, a little bit of adjustment up on the lever. And let's see if we can get a little bit less squeeze on there. All right, ready and go ahead. Oh yeah, much better. Yeah, much better. Yeah. Yeah, feels yeah, pretty good. It feels great. And really it kind of plays it almost um it almost plays a little bit better to the barrel adjuster and barrel adjuster so you have all that play, you mm -hmm. know? I mean that little um Allen head, it's nice and all, but really I didn't mess with this one. I put it right back to where it was as when it was shipped. And I mean just two little turns of the barrel adjusters and it seems like we're pretty dialed in, you know? Yeah. I I'm saying right now, I I think this might be the way of the future. Go ahead. I mean, damn, it's it not again. bad. Well, uh, let's go ahead and put the front one on, and then, um, I mean, we'll be done, you know? Mm -hmm. All right. All right, guys. Well, I got the front one put on the fork because I had to use the same adapter that the fork came with. So I took the caliper, the stock caliper, off of the adapter, not the adapter, off of the fork. And I kept the spacers, the same exact screws. I didn't use the new ones just to make sure I wasn't going too deep because going too deep is uh, not a good thing most of the time. Right. <laughs> okay. So uh, got that all done, uh, kept with all the original hardware. I mean, this right here, the X-Tech brakes, that has got to be the easiest thing that we've done on a bike since I don't know when. Just that was pretty damn easy. Simple, uh, I mean, just plug and play. How cool is that? One is me thing? over. Yeah, I know one you over. Plug and play. I mean, unscrew, cut the cable, snap the new ones back on. Simple. Really cool upgrade, $38.99. Look in the affiliate links below so you guys can maybe get yourself some and to help us out a little bit. But everybody on the coffee shout out today, thank you so much for the support, man. That's just, it's just been awesome. Uh, Berserker with the record breaking. Special to Berserker Nick. Yeah, special. special thank you, sense. Berserker Nick. 20 cups of coffee. Uh, amazing, man. Didn't even know it could be done. Yeah, didn't even know it could be done. You're breaking records, son. But uh, thank you so much, Berserker, and everybody else there uh, out there. Thank you so much for watching our channel, Wolf Tick Videos. Uh, the kids, what was that? Young Guns. Young Guns Viewers Rides. Thank you guys for sending your pictures. Some pretty cool rides. Uh, hopefully everybody showed them some love, you know, and uh, maybe even go back and comment about their bikes and what you guys liked about it. And uh, yeah, man, X-Tech Zoom Hydraulic Caliper Cable Actuated Brakes. There you go. Uh, be on the lookout. Notifications. Turn them on because um, Friday's video, we've got a pretty damn good mail time segment. Got a couple subscriber stuff, and uh, we got a new fork. Yeah, new fork new in the fork. mail. Friday's video, don't miss it. Thanks for watching Wolf Tech Videos, guys.